blessing plan of God for you. He wants to bring us to a whole new level of influence, increase, abundance, and greatness. God wants to bless you and make you a blessing. I prophesy, you shall become a blessing. You shall be blessed and you shall become a blessing. What is, what is a blessing? The blessing is the supernatural empowerment of God that causes us to prosper and to succeed beyond measure. The supernatural what? empowerment of God that causes us to succeed and prosper beyond measure. A blessing. An empowerment of God that will cause a person to do well and to succeed supernaturally in astronomical dimension. That's what the blessing is. That will cause you to blossom and to thrive in the midst of intense opposition. Nothing can stop God's blessing from working in a life. In the midst of opposition, the blessings of God continues to work. The Bible says, you know, um, you will look like a blessing. I prophesy, I say you will look like a blessing. You will smell like a blessing. You shall, you shall enjoy the dew of heaven. You know, when Isaac blessed his son Jacob, he said, the, he said, may you enjoy the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, plenty of corn and wine. He smelled him. He said, you, he, said he smelled his body. You can see that in Genesis 27, from verse 27 to 28. He smelled him, Genesis 27, 27 to 28. He smelled him. He said, the smell of my son is like a smell of a fruitful field when the Lord has blessed. You're going to smell blessing. I said, you're going to smell blessing. I say, I prophesy, you're going to smell blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall have the smell of blessing, the looks of blessing, the feel of blessing. You know, when a blessed person shows up, you can tell this is a blessed person because it's going to carry some fragrance of blessing. He said, and the dew of heaven is going to come upon you. I said, the dew of heaven is going to come upon you. He said, and the blessing will make you have plenty of corn and wine. That means supply, provision, and joy. Wine could not joy. Plenty. Someone said plenty. plenty. Yeah, the blessing brings plenty into our life. Plenty is coming into your life. Yeah. It makes a place a person. Yeah, you know, man, everything has its own smell. Blessing has its own smell. Even money has a smell. Have you noticed that currency has a smell? Yeah. There are perfumes that have you know the, the the fragrance of dollars you can get yeah that perfume like that that's what they smell like dollar yeah so god wants to release a supernatural dew on your life or my life that you're going to smell blessing that when you show up people will say hey i can smell blessing i can see blessing i can feel blessing that's the transformation that is coming into your life and my life the blessing the blessing the blessing makes a person to succeed even in the midst of or in the face of adverse circumstances or adverse condition of life in the midst of difficult situation the blessing makes a person to succeed yes. can i hear you? amen yes. yeah it was said concerning isaac that there was farming in the land there was farming means hardship dryness intense dryness but isaac because of the blessings of god upon his life he began to prosper he began to succeed he began to thrive genesis 26 verse 1 and 2 then we go to verse number uh, 12 to 14 and i want the new king james if you can help me something new is happening so i'm on new king james now <laughs> hallelujah he said there was there was farming in the land Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham, and Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, to Gerar. Verse 2. And the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land which I shall tell you. Amen? Yes. Dwell in this land. I will be with you, Lord, and bless you. For to you and your descendants will I give all this land. I will be with you, and what I will bless you. 
it is in his power to bless to make great and the bible says the land that god was telling him to dwell in was a land where there was farming there was farming in the land so he wanted to take off run away god said no my blessing can work even in the midst of adverse situation in the midst of hardship so it doesn't matter where you are the blessings of God come upon you. You're going to prosper. You're going to succeed. It will begin to happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at verse number 12 now. Verse 12. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year what? Hundredfold. And the Lord what? Blessed him. In the midst of the hardship, in the midst of the famine, in the midst of the unfavorable condition, the man was blessed. Then look at the faith of the blessing. And the man began to prosper. Ah, I said he began to prosper until he became what? Very prosperous. That's what is going to happen for you. You shall begin to prosper. You shall begin to succeed until you become very prosperous. And what? For he had what? Possession. You are going to have possessions. Possession of flocks. You are going to have stocks. <laughs> and herds. We talk about shears. You're going to have a lot of them in the name of Jesus. Oh, who is God talking to? Her? I say you're going to have a lot of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Possession of herds, flocks, that shears, and, you know, stocks. And a great number of servants. That means you're going to have employees. You're going to employ many people who work for you. Ah, God is about to surprise you. I said, God is about to surprise you. He's about to take you where you can't take yourself. That's the plan of God for you and I. So the Philistines, they envied him. The blessing will make you enviable to your world. You shall become the envy of your world. Don't worry when God begins to bless you. People will envy you. Let them talk the talk. Let them give you the looks. It won't change anything. The blessing is going to speak. Let them make all the comments. The blessing is going to speak. You're going to smell it. You're going to look it. You're going to show it. You're going to show. You're going to reflect the blessing. That's the plan of God. The blessing. That will become your testimony. You know what the scripture says here? It says, the blessings, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. Yeah, Proverbs 10 22. The blessing makes rich and added no sorrow. The blessing. And as Isaac, and the Bible also says in Galatians chapter 4, verse 29. This one we have to claim that scripture we own. It says, As Isaac was, so are we. If God did it for Isaac, he's going to do it for you. He's going to do it for you. I said, He's going to do it for you. If it happened in the life of Isaac, it's going to happen for you. Can you give me NIV of the same script? Proverbs 10, 22. Genesis 26, verse 12. Yeah, okay, Galatians 4, verse 1, verse 28. As Isaac, so are we the children of the blessing. Galatians 4, 28. Are we there? Now, we brethren, <laughs> as Isaac was, are we the children of of the promise so we are just like isaac can i hear amen? amen as isaac was so are we the same god that blessed isaac in the midst of hardship is about to bless you in the midst of inflation in the midst of the difficult situation the same god is about to bless you all can i hear amen, amen. 